Hello and welcome to Stevie D's Models and this is a inbox review of this kit from Tamiya it's the Focke Wolf FW190D9 and it's in 148 scale it's got a nice artist painting of the aircraft there there's a few versions you can build I think these two and I think it's an, a kit from the late 90s or early 90s and it has um, a point purchase stick from West End Models in Corn okay so in the box uh, we got a bag of clear pipes, a bag of rare plastic pipes, another bag of rare plastic pipes, and looks like there's two transfer sheets, uh, instructions, tech tips, important information. S4, there's spray cams, aren't there? It's not going to be done with a spray cam. Okay. So, we'll have a look at what's in this bag. Yeah, that's it. We got in this bag. We've got two sprues and the uh, transfers. We'll have a look at them in a minute. So the low echoing pipe. Wow, that's an extremely thin plastic. But if you have a look, we've got nice recessed panel lines, rivets, uh, subtle fabric ailerons and some other parts here that looks like a uh, headdress for the pilot don't know what that is probably another piece for cockpit and on this sprue got the main fuselage it's quite a long aircraft isn't it The detailing is very nice. Uh, it looks like you can get some cockpit detail. The instrument panel with raised details on it. Uh, paddle propeller blade, radiator cover, undercarriage drop tank, uh, nose guns, and where the uh, cowl goes at the front. The carriage legs and the other fuselage off, and as you can see, hopefully, it's a re recessed panel lines with some riveting as well on it. So let's see on the inside. Oh, there's no detail on the inside of the uh, cockpit, but maybe it gets a tub. I don't know. Is that damaged? I don't know. Uh, one piece wheels, not flat spotted, but that's not a problem, is it? You just rub it off. Okay, so that's a nice spring. So the next bag. Why do they do this sort of tape? Ok, 
Okay, right. So yeah, we do. We get a cockpit tub. Some real well detail on the inside of the wings. So a cockpit tub. Uh, the tail planes, again, like nice recessed panel lines. On the panels, another propeller and a fan blade. That'll, that won't go with this kit because it didn't have the rotary engine. Um, undercarriage, that's where the undercarriage goes. Radial engine, again. This is a part that won't be used by this aircraft. Uh, pilot seat, tail wheel, some more undercarriage stuff, uh, propeller spinner. Ah, nice. Uh, got some uh, foot pedals for the pilot. Oh, well, there's a pilot as well. Just down here. And the upper wings. These like um, everything else is really fine recessed panel lines it's got a little like a piece of plastic sticking up there you would have to file sand that down if you were having the wings up because that I think that tells the pilot that the wings are locked in place I mean the wheels are locked in place so it's very nice so a couple of Couple of uh, sheets, swast stickers. Never had that in a kit before. You don't usually get them. Uh, spirals for the spinners, crosses, defence bands. Don't know which mean which which is which. Uh, these are Tami Tamiya uh, transfers, 1995. So I think that's when this aircraft first kit first came out. And then you've got some stencils on this one. And again, that's 1995, so I'm guessing the, these were all together, always been together. So, they look okay, we'll have to see how they go on. I don't have any problems. Well, on the last Tamiya aircraft I made, I didn't have any problems with the transfers. So, like I said, we'll have to see how we get on with them. Um, So in here we've got our bag with some pop. Okay, uh, my uh, memory card went full, so I've had to uh, transfer some files up to it. Anyway, so it's the uh, clear pipes. Hmm. I thought it might be a seam, but no, it looks like a panel line on that one there, on this one. They're pretty clear. So. so the last thing to look at are the instructions. With this, you get uh, some history on the aircraft, and uh, not a massive fan of these big fold out sheets to be honest. What um, tools you need, paints you need, you start with the cockpit. No, there isn't a transfer for the uh, instrument panel, which is for me is disappointing. So, but we'll, we'll have to see what I can do. Um, get the pilot up, put him in. I don't know if that'll be happening either. Maybe. 
uh, putting the glit fuselage halves together, putting the cockpit tub in, then starting on the wings, building the wings up, uh, drop tank, undercarriage, ancillary stuff, air aerials and what have you. Gives you a good picture of the stance. And then uh, putting the final bits in, cowling. And the propeller canopy. There's two different ca types of canopy: standard canopy and the blown canopy. From the final bits on, and then uh, painting details, which are not all that brilliant, to be honest. And there's uh, one for aircraft at Straubing in Bavaria, 1945. Uh, this one is for Jags 34. I hope I've said that right, probably I'm, but at Rheinmann Airfield, Germany, spring in 1945. Probably all captured aircraft. And then another one, same airfield. With different markings, so there's four different four different aircraft, four different aircraft you can make. Yeah, four different aircraft, and then there's this one as well. That was a uh, Lieutenant T.O. Nibble, a Jaguar fifty four in Belgium, nineteen forty five. So there you are. there you have it. So there you have it, uh, Tamiya's 148 scale, Focke-Wolf FW190D9. Probably got a bit together really well. I'll have to see when I build it. There's going to be a break in uh, videos. There has been recently. I've not been feeling like this. But <coughs> watch my update video. That's it around the sound. Okay, right, thanks. Alright, if you uh, got this far, thanks very much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please like. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. Cheerio. Bye.